Here's an example of two hot coverage using an inside freak cap blitz. The quarterback signals a double post tag to the field. Both quarterbacks and receivers must understand the drop and route break timeline in order to sync up space advantage. The inside glance post is a five-step route that must be thrown on rhythm at 1.8 seconds. It is capped here. The read post is a nine-step route that must be thrown at 2.2 seconds. The receiver must process the route side space of the vertical post on the break. If it is capped by the safety, then he must snap the route flat to take advantage of horizontal space. If they cap it, we snap it. The receiver does not do that here. In fact, he doesn't break the route until the 11th step of the stem and the quarterback is already onto his rush route. The rush route should be thrown no later than 2.6 seconds when used as a check down in the pocket. The release phase should begin just after 2.6 seconds. This is where the quarterback places himself into trouble. During the rush phase, the quarterback's eyes, hips, and feet should be locked onto the route side space of the rush route here. This does not occur. Full field sideline to sideline scan paths typically take two reset steps. The placement of a rush route within one reset step, whether it would be here or here, would have provided a more fluid progression with proper timing. The quarterback is now a step behind at three seconds and should already be in his release phase out of the pocket. This would have placed him in a prime position to avoid the sack. R4 provides a better coaching process to self-correct all of these issues.